Hey, it's Custom with Solutions 8. Um, today, I want to talk to you about what you should do if your Facebook ad account gets disabled, because that happened to me today. Uh, super stressful day so far. It's not done. I'm, I, I, I have not reached a resolution, but I did get to a point to where I feel like, you know what, everybody needs to know this information. Um, because when our account was disabled in the beginning, I, was, I had no idea what to do. Um, you know, I just hadn't gone through that inside of Facebook before. So some context for you is, uh, and I guess, let me back up. If you've been watching my videos long enough, you know that I'm not the world's biggest fan of Facebook. And I'm, I'm trying pretty hard, actually, to, to stop bashing Facebook as much as I have historically because it's still a viable network. It can produce a lot. Um, I just have some personal vendettas against it that I need to get over. I mean, clearly, it's my fault and there's some weird neural social conditioning and whatever. Um, so all that said that I, I think Facebook is viable for um, you know a lot of use cases. It's not my favorite network. We generally don't run Facebook for clients um, unless there's a very strong use case for it. And, and that happens to be the case here. So context for you is this is, this is um, it's not even really necessarily a client. It's a really strong strategic partner who's also become a friend. He's a world authority thought leader. Uh, he just got finished spending over a quarter of a million dollars in the course of two weeks in this, in this one campaign. Um, and not that, I mean, I feel kind of, like a douche saying that I'm not trying to like name drop or you know make it sound like his penalization is bigger than somebody else's penalization but I, I want to maybe show you where the stakes were in my mind this morning when I got a text from him as I'm on a webinar and he goes my account's disabled and I'm just like oh good that's great so um I went into frantic panic mode and I texted and called everybody that I knew and uh, who would know and I ended up on the phone with my buddy Dave Conklin. So big shout out to Dave. Um, if you don't know Dave, he's he's a brilliant, brilliant marketer. Wrote a great, great book that's worth checking out. Um, and Dave connected me with Josh Everly, who also works with him. Really sharp guy. Uh, I, I I love Josh in so many ways, but I dislike Josh because he's taller than me and it's intimidating. Um, but Josh is the one that really put me on game as far as how to approach this. So I'm going to give you just a sense as to what happened. Here's what kind of pisses me off is. We're, we're not doing anything wrong, and I can kind of prove that because I just spent the last three hours getting a PhD in Facebook's um, uh, compliance requirements and policy. Um, so we're running traffic to a free event. It's a 31-day workshop, effectively. And um, we've got thought leaders and a, a lot of amazing people speaking, a different person every day. Um, there's no... There's nothing thematically that would trigger any of Facebook's ad policy violations, with the exception of some um, religious content. So uh, it's a Christian event, and we're bringing in Christian thought leaders. And um, but there's we're not we're not you know Facebook's policies are really clear there. You know no discriminatory practices. You know um, no uh, I identify um, ad I, well, what is it personally identifiable information in the ad copy like are you a Christian type of thing um, or only for Christians. So we're not doing those things. And yet we're still disabled. And um, the issue we're running into is the cart for the back-end offer opens today. It opens today, and we have 50,000 people opted into this event, and we can't run ads to them. Now, it's not, you know, there's a bunch of things we can do. We can pivot over to another account. We can, um, um, you know, we, we still have the lists, and so build custom audiences. But you don't want to do that because you don't want to lose everything that you have inside of that account. So I'm just going to share with you kind of step by step what happened. Let me start over here. Uh, so here's the error that we got. This is the account disabled error. Um, and it shows you everything that's been disabled. So we've lost our audiences, our pix and, uh, pixels, and our, our conversions, which, you know, I want and I need those because I'm going to use them in, in subsequent marketing. Um, and here's basically all the things you can't do, which is all the things. So you can't do any of those things. So uh, what Everly told me to do, and again, big, big thank you to my buddy Everly. Uh, I mean, he's like in the middle of meetings texting me. So just just really, really appreciate having friends that I can reach out to. Um, he goes, uh, you have to go here. And what's funny, too, is, is where you're like, oh, well, of course you'd go to the business help. But this was not, when I was Googling it and finding all the, the things and the ways and the areas and the places to go, this was not the very first thing that, that showed up for me. And when I was asking my really smart buddies who all know how to do stuff like this, um, with the exception of my buddy Scott, big shout out to Scott, thank you, who ended up giving me the same advice after I heard it from Josh, nobody had this either. So I wanted to share it with you. If you get uh, penalized by Facebook, if you get disabled, this is where you go. We go to facebook.com forward slash business forward slash help. And then we're going to scroll down and then uh, say, uh, under the still need help section, click on get started. And then from get started, and I'm not going to be able to walk through the whole process with you because it's, um, I can't show you the ad account that's been disabled because I've already started a, uh, a ticket. But um, choose the ad account that this is applicable to and then let Facebook know what happened. 
Uh, and what did I choose? I went... Um, Honestly, I don't even think the option that I selected was was here. So I'm just going to choose this and see if it walks me through the same process. It does. So it gives me a little bit more context, which is great. And then it asks me to contact support. And this is the process that I encountered. So then I contact support, uh, provide your information. And then I gave a ton of context on the front end, which I think is actually probably really helpful. And I'll show you that in just a minute. I also uploaded a screenshot. And then a chat started immediately. And I was introduced via chat to the just the sweetest person in the whole wide world. And her name was, oh, this is too far back. Where was it? Oh, her, her name was Tiana. So Tiana hops into chat and um, gives me a reference number and then walks me through what it is that she needs from me. And I give her some context. And uh, at the very end of it, she basically says, look, I can't solve this myself. I need to go through advanced support, um, which is fine. As for my contact information, says that they're going to follow up. She said that they generally hear back in 24 to 72 hours, but they have heard back same day in some instances. I'm not optimistic. Um, a couple of notes for you here, though. Um, the first one is, is be, be polite, be kind. Uh, I think that the, the instinct or the inclination is just to be so livid with, and I've seen clients do this when they get penalized, not in Facebook, because I don't run Facebook enough for, to have had this experience, but I've seen them do it with us and I've seen them do it with Google. Like you just want to get on the, the, the chat or the phone and just yell at somebody. And the issue there is, first of all, it's just the wrong thing to do. Like this is a person, it's not their fault. Um, so, you know, don't be a jerk. But the second thing is you're not going to get anywhere with that. Um, so at a minimum, even if you don't want to be a good person, just be enlightenedly self-interested uh, and realize that, uh, you know, more flies with honey. So, so be kind, be polite, but you can still be insistent. And one thing that I said to uh, my new friend Tiana, which you probably have read if you were skimming my chats, is I'm, I spent a lot of money and I'm going to spend a lot more money. So if you have that card to play, play it. That was also advice that Josh gave me. Um, and, you know, uh, I pushed as hard as I could push for a resolution. She had to ascend it. That's perfectly fine. I might follow up here in just a little bit and just be annoying. Uh, my experience in, in this instance every time is the squeaky wheel gets the oil. So... Um, but I think it's cool that I even got it in front of Facebook's policy team. I had no idea how to do that. And I've been running traffic through Facebook forever. Um, now, I know how to do that with Google because we run so many Google accounts that we run into this on a fairly regular basis, sadly. Um, and, and that's just because for, for Google and Facebook both, the, the policy requirements, it's just, it's, there's no black and white. It's this big, great, big field of gray that you have to contend with. So that's the other thing that I wanted to share with you is um, Facebook has... I'm going to include all of these links in the description of this video, but you can see that Facebook has um, their policies outlined, um, you know, pretty well. And there's, uh, uh, well, I won't say pretty well because it's gray, but they do have a lot of content available that you can look at that will help uh, kind of in the initial uh, states of troubleshooting. And then they also had this Facebook blueprint um, LMS basically, which I've been mildly aware of in the past. I think I'd even taken some stuff, but I never really touched. But in my Googling, I found this and I actually found it to be really helpful. I ended up taking the Facebook ad policies uh, and, and review process, which is how I was uh, kind of, I think it helped me, equip me to, to speak to um, the, the support rep. But there's a lot here. So depending on your specific use case, um, if you just search for policies or policy, um, there's a, a ton of, why isn't it going? There's a ton of other things to review. So ad policies, their ad review process, there's something about oh, elections and politics. So depending on what you're doing in a uh, guide for uh, alcohol on Facebook, um, depending on what you're doing, I think that it's really worth, if you're going to spend a bunch of money inside of a network, um, know it, you know, know it. And, and I didn't uh, in, in this particular instance. And, and you know, in my to my credit, I gave... The, the gentleman that we're running these ads for has that disclaimer. Like, hey, we're, we're Google assassins. I've done Facebook in the past. I feel really confident about our skills, but there's certain things that we just don't know. Um, and I'm glad I did that because now I, I feel uh, like I have a little bit of in the way of plausible deniability. But that doesn't take the, the, the onus or the responsibility of fixing it off of my shoulders. So still working on that. I'll keep you posted maybe if uh, the resolution ends up being pretty easy. But I just wanted to share that handy dandy fancy link and the explanation on how to get to Facebook support chat because I didn't have it and you know hopefully that saves you from a little bit of heartache and headache um, if it's encountered. So uh, yeah, that's all I got. If you have feedback for me or, or advice or tips or tricks, I'd love to hear it. Hit me in the comments. 
Thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, if you subscribe, I'll start going live as soon as I get 2,000 subscribers. Big, 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 big thanks to everyone that subscribed before uh, and stays subscribed. Uh, really appreciate y'all. I'll see you tomorrow.